Hey there viewers and welcome back to Planet Cryos. I want to show you a storage solution where you can keep all of your important videos, movies, pictures, files that also allows you to share with many devices at once and it can also be protected at the same time. Join me. The Synology DS220 Plus is a compact network attached storage solution designed to streamline your data and multimedia management. It features smooth data sharing, video streaming, and photo indexing, as well as well-rounded data protection and recovery options. This features a 2-core 2.0 GHz with a burst up to 2.9 GHz. It has installed 2 GB of DDR4 memory with expandable up to 6 GB. Two USB 3.0 ports provides over 225 MB of sequential read and 192 MB sequential write throughput. All right, so with that introduction out of the way, let's get to um, looking at this a little closer here. Um, in my hands, you can see how big it is. It's not very big. It can fit nicely on your desk or uh, basically somewhere uh, close to the router. It doesn't have to be real close to the router, but uh, the closer the better just for, you know, cable management, I guess. So uh, let's just uh, look at the front here. You have a couple of buttons. Uh, you have your on and off button. This button that's labeled C, I think that's for like a copy or something if you're... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. This is still new to me. Um, you have a USB uh, uh, port here where you can, you know, plug in uh, an external uh, USB drive or anything like that. Uh, let's see. This front pant piece comes off like so very easily, and that's where you're gonna you can install two 3.5 inch mechanical hard drives. Uh, I'm assuming you could put. SSDs in there, but I don't know why you would want to spend that kind of money on SSDs uh, for a, uh, a system like this. So I would just stick with the with the other ones. Let's put this down. Um, and on the back here, you have your your power goes in there. You have another USB 3.0, and you have two. Uh, Ethernet jacks. So these two can uh, be installed simultaneously. Uh, you can put it in aggregate aggregation mode if you wanted to, so things are faster. But it really only, from my understanding, that only really works uh, at its fastest speeds is when multiple people are sharing it and and writing and reading at the same time. If it's just you or a couple people, it's not going to matter too much unless you're all trying to download or upload something all at once. So that's where aggregation would come in. Otherwise, you just stick it in uh, LAN 1 and you're good to go uh, with just your power and your Ethernet. Uh, these drives here up front, uh, they just, you just push up on this tab and these come out, you know, for the drive trays. And you install your drive in it. Um, I would say... I would say install it in both, you know, one in both of them. And that way you can put it uh, in what's called RAID 1. RAID 1, there's a bunch of different RAIDs, uh, but RAID 1 essentially when you have two different drives, it's writing to one drive and then the software is copying exactly what it's doing to that drive is copying over to the second drive so you have a, re a redundant um you know not a really a backup um but it's a copy a backup would be used with a cronus true image or some sort of a, a backup software uh to back stuff up so i don't want you to get confused between those two this is not really a backup um, but it is a copy in case something happens so in the event that you, t that you put these in here and you go with RAID 1 and something happens to one of the drives, you're okay for, for right now. 
And what you want to do is you want to get yourself another drive. It should tell you either through the software or what it's going to do is probably light up here. You got disk one, disk, uh, disk one and disk two. And one of them I'm assuming is going to light up like a red color or a yellow or something like that. And otherwise they'd probably be blue or green if they're okay. Uh, but if they go a different color, you probably know there's something wrong with that disc. And just so you know which disc, see there's little dots up here. That would be disc one, and over here would be disc two. So if one of those go a different color, you know something's wrong with it. You could pull that drive out, and you can install another one. So, and I'm pretty sure you can do these as a hot swap. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I think you can pull them out, or pull one of them out. Not both of them, but <laughs> pull one of them out, uh, replace that with a brand new one. And now what it's going to do is it's going to copy everything from that disk that, uh, uh, that is still running. It's going to copy it over to your new hard drive. And that way you'll have your two again. So... That would be, you know, uh, some people are going to refer to that as a backup. It, um, it's not, but call it whatever you want. Um, you know, I'll do the RAID 1, but I'll also do a backup of these. So on another drive. So I know it's a lot, and so, you know, you get into a lot. Uh, you're a lot safer doing it, doing this and in RAID 1 than you are with a single disk or two discs in here, two hard drives in here, without doing RAID, which you can do. So if you had, <clears throat> just for instance, two four terabytes, you'd have eight terabytes total if you didn't do RAID 1. If you do RAID 1 and you have two four terabyte drives, you're only essentially going to have one of those four terabytes. So right here, I have two of these that I purchased. These are uh, Seagate, and these are four terabytes each. I have two of them. These are going to go in here. These are designed for uh, network attached storage. So that's what uh, NAS um, stands for, is network attached storage. So uh, both of these are going to go in here. They're going to go in RAID 1. So now I'm just going to show you how to install your drives. And you're going to take one of the caddies out. These are considered a caddy or a, um, a hard drive tray. And on these... I didn't read any instructions, and that's what this is all about. It's supposed to be fun. So they have to go in here, but you have to take these out, and these have little... I'm trying to see if this will focus on that. See that arrow? So that means it can pop out. Get this. So it just pops out, and you've got to take both sides off. Okay. These drives are only going to go in one way. So this side you have an opening. You see this side obviously is the one that's going to be facing the outside of the Synology. So um, you're just going to put it in here like so. And they have... Um, you just kind of place it in there. You got to kind of... Um. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Okay, so when you're putting this, let me do it again. So with those pieces out, you take your hard drive, just set it over top. I'm used to, I'm used to bending these these out in um, actual uh, um, computer cases. So this is a little different, a little new to me. So you just take it, you set it in there. Just gently like that, and it goes in. There's no bending of it. Looks like it'll line up. Then you take these. I don't think that they're... It matters which one, but you see these nubs? I'm trying to get this. See the nubs on them? Okay, those are going to go in those holes... And the actual hard drive has got the screw holes. 
So instead of using screws like you would in some instances, you're gonna, these nubs are going to go through and hopefully make contact in there. They do look a little off. Uh, the hole, I don't know if you can't really see in there. Yeah, you can't see in it, but... Um, looks like the hard drive's just sitting a little high. But, let's give this a shot. And put that... Oh, that worked. That went right in. So that looks good. Let's do the other side. There we go. So what I had to do with this is I had to pinch it. So push down on the hard drive and 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 pull in on the the caddy or the tray so that hole going into the hard drive meets a lot better. So it gives it a nice firm uh, way of setting it. So it looks, looks pretty good. So, and if you can't remember which direction, you know, this goes in, look in the back and you'll see, you'll see where the SATA and, and power are on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but it's on the it's on the bottom, and your SATA and power connector should be on the bottom when you install it, as you can see there. So you're just gonna put it in like so. And then this is just gonna clip in. Just give it a little extra push, and you hear that clip, and that parts down, and you're good to go. Now you can install your second one. All right, so now I want to show you, um, I have some extra RAM for this, and it comes with two terabytes, or two terabytes, yeah, it comes with two gigabytes of installed uh, internal RAM that you cannot remove uh, from what I know, but you can expand it up to six, which means that we can put an extra four gigabytes in here, but you're like, okay, well, there's no, you know... There's no, what do you got to do? Take it apart? No, you don't have to take it apart. But you do have to pull the trays out with or without the hard drives in them. And right there, you can see that it takes um, RAM just like you would find in a laptop. And Synology um, has their own RAM. It's, it's designed for this. Not that other RAM would not work, but they're not going to warranty this or the RAM if you put it in there and you have issues with it. So I guess, you know, you're kind of stuck with going with, you know, Synology RAM, um, unless you don't care, you know, about losing some money. So I'll show you. Here we go. We got some, uh, here's the RAM that Synology makes. You know, it's specific speed. It's got the two... Uh, 2666. And there you go. There's four gigabytes. And what we're going to do here, you can always tell RAM ha is slotted. You see that slot at the bottom where the gold fingers are, where the contact points are? You're always going to have that same slot right back in there you can see it just follow my finger back right there right there so just line it up I should be doing this all on the table I don't know why I'm doing it like this but it's gonna go in at an angle all right so at about a you know 30 degree angle or something like that roughly and right now it's just sitting in there. I didn't even push it in yet. So we gotta, just trying to get you a fairly good, good spot here at the show. Zoom in a little. So as soon as it's in like that and you can kind of bounce it up and down, there's two retention levers on either side. But what you gotta do is you just gotta force it down. I'm trying to get you a decent spot here. And boom, there it goes in. And you can tell, so like that side. 
that side looks like it's in and there we go uh the drives are installed the extra ram is installed so now i have six gigabytes of ram um there's nothing else more to this this is just going to sit on my shelf right by my um my router it's going to be a nice short run about a foot foot and a half long uh, run which I have a couple cables of that size also I do want to point out on the back of this it has this little hole here and what that hole is um, you can buy a lock for it those are I think pretty standard uh, locks that you can buy for like laptops and you can stick that in there and then chain it around chain it around cable it around uh, they come with cables you can cable it around uh, you know like a desk uh, leg or something uh, something that's you know you can't obviously get off easy but you know, truth be told, you know, unless you have this all encrypted, you can just steal the hard drives out of it. And um, and if you have another Synology, if you don't have the data encrypted, you can walk off with the data. So the reason why I got this for myself is not because I'm really sharing with anybody per se, but I have um, I have a couple of two terabytes in my computer, and that's becoming closer and closer to not being enough and I save uh, pretty much all of my YouTube videos uh, not that they're not on YouTube but I save those then I have all the raw videos so I have a two terabyte drive currently in there and another two terabyte drive which is doing my backup now yes I can only have one backup of that in my PC but then I have another backup that's offline that I keep elsewhere uh, in a safe place and then I, um, I'm going to rely on this, hopefully, um, maybe to take all of my YouTube videos or my raw ones. I'm not sure which ones yet, but so I can offload some of that um, space uh, and onto these. And this, you know, you, you can also use your TV. So if you have some movies on there. You can connect your TV to this, and then you can stream some of your movies. Maybe if you have some, uh, um, you know, whatever, you know, movies you got uh, saved on there. Uh, you can do your pictures. Uh, you can do some files, but, you know, of course, it's uh, it's nice where you can share with somebody. You know, if you're, um, you know, you got multiple computers in different rooms, and you're all, I mean, even in the same room, but you can hook up. Um, to this connect right to it through the web browser and you can extract files so I could share with somebody instead of creating a computer to computer uh, network um, and sharing that way you know and having a hard drive share uh, you know computer to computer you can have this NAS now the they do make a larger one so they make four bay uh, hard or uh, Synologies they make eight bay uh, I don't know if they make 10 or 12, but I know they, they go at least up to 8. Uh, they probably go beyond that, um, maybe 10 or 12. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it'd be nice to, it's nice to share uh, without uh, worry about that. You can create your own uh, libraries within them, uh, your own passwords within them. Uh, there's lots of other stuff, and I'm, I'm, I think I might do a video on the software. But basically, you just uh, this does come with a quick start guide, so... You can follow that, but uh, there are other videos out there on YouTube that'll show the interface, uh, the web browser interface. So, yeah, I, I just I might make a video on that, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. But uh, that's all I have. So don't forget to uh, share, uh, comment down below if you wish, uh, like it, and um, until next time, guys. Take care.